Here we are in Orvieto, Sevilla, south of Umbria, where behind me is this magnificent Duomo, the cathedral. Here we are in south of Umbria in the beautiful small town or big village called Orvieto in the historical center which is very beautiful, particular, atmospheric. We came here for lunch in this slow food network restaurant called La Grotta, literally the cave. Uh, doesn't look like a cave, looks like a city restaurant, but is uh, renowned for the good quality food based on season and local choice of ingredients. Okay, that's the network called Slow Food that has been invented to make something to mark the difference with the fast food. Slow food is very Italian concept when we say when you're sitting at the table you never get old which means give time to your enjoyment of food and we start as usual with a very local preparation based on truffle black truffle so over a toasted bread we have this truffle cream with real piece of truffle marzuolo this is the kind of truffle that are in season now the marzuolo is a black one that you can find under the ground here all around and uh, for that we choose the local the local is a famous white called orvieto we have two different glass of the classical and the cuvée uh, this is a bit more structured and gets a bit more old. This is more light color, more fruity and fresh. This is probably more old and sophisticated. And uh, we are going to tell you later what is the best with this kind of crostini with truffle, con il tartufo. That's great. Here we are with our first. Here they are called umbrichelli, which are, means literally little creature from Umbria and pretty, little and pretty from Umbria. But we had yesterday Nia Spoleto and uh, they called in another way, they were called stringoli, but they are exactly the same thing. It's a homemade fresh pasta. Um, like big spaghetti or what in Tuscany are called peachy. It's quite big as a diameter. But what is interesting is the version we have here with pistachio. With pistachio and uh, bacon, which means that makes them very original. Consider bacon is one of the local treasures. We are close to Norcia, which is the Italian capital for bacon and uh, pigs, pork products. And uh, the men suggested to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese, but I am reluctant. I will taste first. By the way, the more structured Orvieto Classico was much better with the truffle. Now let's continue. Now it's time for our main. We have two local, quite particular, special. This is rabbit with green sauce. 
Green sauce is a quite a common sauce in Italian cuisine. It's based on parsley and garlic. Of course, extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes people add some other local herbs. In this case, we have just parsley and the rabbit is stew. On this side, we have the lamb. Lamb at uh, hunter's style. Hunter's style means to slowly, slowly cook for hours and hours in a casserole together with different herbs. Here we have some onions and uh, some rosemary and sage, I can see. And uh, we're going to have this with a new Orvieto Classico. This is the uh, 2020, we are in 2022, late March now, which means that is basically one year old, one year in the bottle. Anyway, I think it's going to be very nice. Conclusion, at the end of all this, let me say all the preparations were very good, after all, very tasty. Uh, we appreciate the use of the local meat, the local rabbit, the local lamb. We appreciate a lot the use of the herbs that makes the meat really tasty and flavored. I have to say at the beginning the crostini with the truffle I would like much more if they were warm, they were not warm. So it was just a little de detail. The umbricelli or stringoli, they were absolutely great. Very original preparation with the pistacchio and the local lamb called guanciale. No, sorry, not lamb, the local bacon called here guanciale because it's coming from the cheek of the pork. That was really great. It's one of the local highlights. Um, after all, it was very good. We had a, a good tasting of the Orvieto Classico. We had three different kinds and uh, I think the second one, a bit more seasoned, a bit of barrique was definitely the best, with a better body. Now that we are, are not able anymore to have a dessert, we see people on the other side having tiramisu, but we can't, honestly we can't. So I'm going to complete the meal in the perfect Italian style with a good black espresso coffee. Il cielo è il principio di attirare, portare dei due punti.